This is the first British conference of undergraduate research. It's the first time there's ever been a conference which brings together students from uh, universities right around the country who've been researching either on internship projects or as part of their dissertations uh, and presenting that research uh, to each other. My name is uh, Stuart hampton rees I'm very pleased and privileged to welcome you to the first ever British conference of undergraduate research. We've, we've liaised with about 50 universities, including universities outside of the country, uh, in countries like America and Australia, which already have experience of um, leading national uh, undergraduate research events. And the National Conference of Undergraduate Research in America, which is supporting this event, is now in its 25th year. And they have a national week in America, an official national week for undergraduate research. Uh, so, so they've been very helpful in helping us to set this up. So it ca ca comes with their seal of approval. And at the opening of the conference I was able to play some videos from the leaders of those of the, that organization to our students to really make that link between um, the American experience and, and the uh, UK experience. This is an exciting year for undergraduate research and for Kerr. We've also had universities from right around uh, Britain, uh, uh, from, from, from Scotland, from Wales, from uh, Northern Ireland, and uh, leading universities in Britain, um, Imperial, Warwick, Reading, Aston, Lincoln, a whole gamut of higher education is represented here today. I'm looking forward to like, the keynote speakers and like, the panels and seeing like, the discussion of what other people have done in my like, subject area. So. Looking forward to it. Well, this is the first British conference for undergraduate research, and I want to be part of it uh, from the outset. And I was uh, invited to give the opening keynote speech this morning, which I did. I'm relieved this over. I think it went okay. I've had some good positive feedback. Um, but also to see the buzz that's around here. This is the poster session for the conference, and students are talking to people, explaining what they've been doing in, the, in their research. I think it's fascinating. I've talked to several students, and their research seems really interesting. Some of it's very groundbreaking, um, and it's a real contribution to society. You have to do the undergraduate research for your degree, but um, if you're not sharing it, if you can't get it published, or you can't do a conference or something like that, it's never going to make it out of the wider circle of your university, really, and ultimately it could only be between you and whoever marks it and second marks it. So this is a great way of obviously getting out, sharing what you've done, and potentially you know finding people who are like-minded and interested in it, and even building yourself sort of connections for your future, you know, you could come to this sort of event and find someone who studies the exact same sort of thing and teaches at university and says this would be great, come and do a PhD, you know. Projects like this take many hours, many weeks to put together. It's shown by the fact deadlines are sometimes up to a year after the project's thought of. Uh, maps that I've created take several hours to make. So it brings like, it shows how much uh, effort university students put in when a lot of them are thought of as not really doing much. Uh, this is a project I did last summer as a second year and I never thought that anyone would be interested in research from someone who isn't at least a graduate. So I, I, I wanted to come along and meet like-minded people and show my research, see what other people are doing. The fact that other people are enthusiastic about these kinds of things um, and that there is support out there for people who want to do research but there, there, there does need to be a lot more funding. Um, people can't do these kinds of things on their own, I guess. With academics like myself and others walking around these poster sessions, uh, sitting in on their presentations, we are able to um, give feedback uh, to, to them about their research, give them suggestions about perhaps publication, if the research warrants it, uh, maybe future give them advice about careers in research afterwards, or how their research could be applied to other career pathways which they, they, they might be thinking about. My main thing for coming today was to get some feedback really on my research from hopefully people who know a bit about memory or psychology. I'm hoping to do a master's in psychology in the next year, um, which I hope my employer doesn't hear about. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to obviously get some feedback on this because if possible when I get my own independent research in those courses, I'd like to take this further. And obviously already I've had some good feedback, some good ideas that have sort of helped me already think of new ways I can take this research that I honestly haven't thought of before. I actually got onto this by an internship, the student internship scheme at the University of Central Lancashire and I do really do recommend students to go undergo and do that scheme because it just opens up a big door for anybody who's interested in the field of research or industry and it's it appealed to me because I've always wanted to be part of something big. I've always wanted to make a difference in the world, so that's why it appealed to me. So anybody who wants to be interested in the field of research, amazing, go for it. Really go for it. I think it sort of gives you more confidence to sort of get record because you have to apply for it. You get into sort of recognition for your work, so that people sort of think, well, actually, that's really good, and it sort of gives you motivation to think, oh, well, actually, yeah, I can do this, and I can do more work and move forward with it. 
Uh, it's helped me because it's like opened my eyes to how it, like important research is to me. Like um, it's inspired me to apply for the internship this summer, and I'm looking to take that into teaching in the future. It's really exceeded our expectations. When we started out on this, we thought we'd get maybe 40 or 50 students. We've had uh, over 170 delegates here today. And there's a real kind of vibrancy and atmosphere around the event. I think students are, are, are really keen to talk about their research and uh, are really uh, keen to listen to other people's research as well. I think it's been really good. It's, I think it's a really good opportunity for different universities to sort of meet up and look at different work that they've done. And with them sort of being with sort of themes of how people have interpreted the different themes that have been I just think it's been a really good day. It's, I think it's, it's definitely sprouted a big future for me hopefully. And, it, and it's, it's, it's celebrating undergraduate research in a way that hasn't been done before so it's to really be supported and encouraged. So far I've really enjoyed the conference I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, the main aim of the event is to establish a British Conference of Undergraduate Research which will happen annually um, moving around the country so that this will become an institution which isn't just um, something that started at University of Central Lancashire but is uh, truly British.